with a Jewish mentality and reading the Old Testament or, or, or stepped in into the Old Testament, you know within the Old Testament there were three major covenants. The covenant of Abraham, or the covenant that God made with Abraham, the covenant that God made with Moses, and the covenant that God made with David. Those were the three major covenants in the Old Testament and you could not read through the Old Testament and miss those three covenants. So he says, the son of David, amen, which shows Uti, he is descended from David. Remember, God made a covenant with David and promised that his son would sit on the throne. Amen, Bazaran. And it's an important fact. I, I remember I was having a conversation with a Je Jehovah's Witness elder and I made this a, a, a point to him because uh, uh, according to Watched Our Teaching, uh, Jesus Christ was the Archangel Michael and he was, uh, uh, when, when he was about to be incarnate, uh, uh, in the womb of Mary, the Jehovah's Witness, I mean, the Watchtower teaches that uh, he ceased from becoming an angel and Jehovah created him to be a human being. And when he died and resurrected back into heaven, he ceased to be a human being and he was created back to be Michael. That's Watchtower teaching. So I said, for me, this is problematic. Why? Because go Second Samuel, if I'm if I'm mistaken, I think seven, Second Samuel chapter seven. God makes a promise. He makes a covenant with David that his descendant or his seed will sit upon the throne. And this is the reason why Matthew goes into trouble to show the pedigree or the the, the, the genealogy of Jesus to show that he comes from uh, from 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 uh, uh, the ancestor David. So I told him if Jesus is no longer human then it's problematic because God made a promise that the descendant of, Jesus, of David must sit on the throne. The one who is genetically the, the descendant of David is supposed to be, sit, to be sitting on the throne. And if Jesus is no longer human, he no longer contains the genes of David in his body and therefore it invalidates the promise that God made to David that his son will sit on the throne forever. So he, he realized uh, the predicament and he ended up having, uh, 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 having to say, Gutia, no, maybe Jesus somehow still is a human being. But that's not what, what Watchtower teaches. The Watchtower teaches that he sees being a human being and he's now an angel and if it's and if it's like that then the promises of god have fallen out of the window amen yeah. so matthew's primarily concerned and he will continue to prove uh, throughout this book that jesus christ is the king jesus christ is the messiah amen in chapter two you see that the messiah is born